Nigeria should really do anything possible to agree with the Easterners, agree with the Igbos, agree with the people from the Eastern country or uh, region of this country and make a decision because I am seeing uh, the next technology that is coming in the world, a higher technology that can only be countered by people that have what is called physical and spiritual endowment and the people that can meet up these things are people that I'm already seeing the people that are from the tribe of the eastern region of this country hey guys my name is Prince I'm from Chicago I'm the inventor of smart carrier device I am so excited to introduce to you one of the best of the best delivering device for 21st century delivering company called smart carrier we have two models of Smart Carrier. Smart Carrier Mini is capable in carrying 16 bottles of 5 gallon water. And Smart Carrier Mars is capable in carrying 20 to 21 bottles of 5 gallon water. They both are automatic carry support, variable load system. That means each of these devices is capable in carrying 1,500 and 1,800 pounds of any size of load. The delivery industry, it is a multi-billion dollar industry. And this industry for centuries has been without proper safety equipment for work. That result to injuries, loss of wages, damage of goods, and workers' compensation. The real things are coming. What you need now is the best of the best. You need the best brain now. And the issue of, okay, these people are this, these people are that, uh, let's, uh, we don't want this one, we want, don't want it. It's going to be a disaster. It's going to, it's going to cost tomorrow. People will be saying, oh, had we been, we know. Had I know. Because the people that God is going to use for this, that you will see, the whole world will rally around looking for these people. Because first thing I'm telling you, soon, people's house, people's house will not be on the surface. People will begin to pack out of the earth. This earth, because the earth you are looking at, let me give you a little revelation on what I saw on the earth. The earth you are seeing at will now begin to come to a point. If rain wants to fall, the rain, the rain will fall uncontrollably. It will fall and fall and fall and fall to extent that people will begin to wonder, ah, is it no more rain? What is happening? This is uh, what is going on. The rain will fall uncontrollably until when it gets tired, it will stop. The sun will come to a point it will shine uncontrollably to extend people with, hey, the sun is now too much. What is going on? What is going on? Uncontrollably. Then the earth will come to a point. You see what is called a climate change. This climate change, they are going to see another dimension of climate change that the world has not seen. And then some part of the earth, some places, you see some places the sun will shine to a point that some places now will begin to grind, will catch fire, begin to burn. You be ah, what, why is this place burning? Grand, have you ever seen a grand burning before? But the ground will catch fire, begin to burn as a result of the heat that is coming. You see some places the trees will all die and catch fire, begin to burn. You will ask, ah, these trees that are burning, how, who is putting the fire? What is happening with the trees? These are things that are already in the realm of the spirit about to manifest. Whoever you have now or whatever you have now, make use of it. Make peace with whoever you have that you have for the days ahead. Some people are already thinking 20 years to come, 30 years to come, 50 years to come. But some people are busy thinking election, 2023, 2003, 2023 election, which is nothing to compare to the realm of the spirit and what is already in the spiritual world about to come to the face of the earth. I love the way I give my revelations and my prophecies very clear and very sharp. So nobody can say, oh, this, that, that, that. If I say this to you, don't say, oh, it's this, is that. Take the word of the prophet. Take the word of God. People that wrote everything that is happening today, they don't have double hairs. It is the same way God has inspired them 
to tell them things they have already opened their mouth in prophesied things that God have told them those are the things that we are seeing today happening but my prayer is the hand of the Lord will be lifted up above our heads the hand of the Lord should prevail countries to countries will be looking for where to get the expert the people from the eastern region are going to be giving birth to people that they will be calling all over the world and they can also transfer that same understanding and knowledge to other people because the dimension i'm seeing in the spirit that is coming is going to be higher than whatever anybody that is not prepared can handle even america will be crying looking for who we have them america crying oh, oh what's going on there we cannot understand what is happening because this is also what is going to condemn all the weapons they are using on the face of the earth all the weapons of war and uh, uh, all the weapons of the earth will be condemned because of the kind of technology that is coming this is what i saw in the realm of the spirit and i'm giving it to you raw as the spirit opened my eyes to impact these revelations and i have to impact it back for the people to hear and see what is in the realm of the spirit and now begin to pray we declare that prayer must continue to go so that the will of god in the name of the lord will be praised forever in the name of jesus christ and I want to say that God is in control in everything and God knows the best. God knows what is best and what is suit for us. We have to get closer to God. We have to embrace God and you know, seek the face of God the more. Make more intercession. If it is possible, let there be what is called office of intercession. Taking for more intercessions and things. Because all of these things that are already in the realm of the spirit is coming faster. Faster than before faster than before what was what will be what will be happening now what happened two years ago five years ago if you go and take statistics take how the sun was last three years ago five years ago the way the rain was then now check the next five six ten years to come how it's going to be you will see that what i'm telling you will start and everybody will be marveling at what is going to be happening so it is time people now begin to go more on making peace and choosing the people you feel that they are technology wise bringing them together preparing the ground and getting ready for what is about to come upon the face of the earth and the name of the lord will be glorified christ is the solution christ jesus is the solution get closer to him and uh, you will surely not miss road you will not die you will be saved in the name of god the father son and the holy spirit god bless you all for watching if what we have done today and the messages you are receiving from here you are in love and you glorify god support what we are doing we'll be expecting you to partner with us to do whatever you can do to help the ministry and this prophetic uh, 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 generation the prophetic revelation and these things to keep on moving forward we are broadcasting on all the networks broadcasting on social medias broadcasting on tv and also other uh, digital television and so we would like you to be part of what we are doing by supporting what we are doing you're watching us from america you want to support what we are doing you can quickly do a support of what we are doing you want to partner with us the account number is available to partner with us in dollars partner with us in naira partner with us in any of this account you can also do a send wave to partner with us or any platform you know you can easily partner with us the account number is here and the name is there for you to do any type of partnership you want to do and i want to let you know that as you support the ministry and partner with us we will never cease in praying for you because the problem people have all over the world is when there is no intercession intercession is the only key and power to help any nation or any people move forward in life so we are in the office of intercession and will continue to intercede we'll continue to pray we we'll continue to believe god together until the perfect will of god is accomplished in the name of jesus christ so in any form in any way you want to partner with us god will surely bless you and favor you shalom to all of you in the name of jesus i am still your prophet and i am also two four seven in this business of revelations 
and I cannot quit revelation. I cannot stop from what God shows me to say no, I cannot minister it or I cannot uh, say it to you people. So I will keep on doing what God has asked me to do. If you, God touch you and you want to do, whatever you do, do let us know. My number is always available and uh, we will continue to do what God has put in our hands to do so that the name of the Lord will be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. I know that uh, it's not easy to be online with somebody and watch all these hours or watch all these minutes, but I want to let you know that as you have watched, it will turn to so many things to you. It will be a blessing. It will be a favor. It will be a breakthrough. It will bring an open door and all your expectations, all your desire, by the virtue of watching and following us, God will open the door wider, wider for you. And definitely, you will have a testimony. God bless you for being part of what we are doing. And I say to you that my prayer will never cease on your head. I will keep on praying and until I see that the miracle of God has been accomplished in your life. I will not stop. God bless you all. I'm still your prophet. Prophet Dr. David Kinglio, a lighter.